We looked at the PKPD of vancomycin and determined the loading dose for vancomycin. We also used IDSA guidelines and population kinetics to determine an empiric vancomycin dose and frequency. We also selected an individualized vancomycin dose and frequency based on serum vancomycin levels. Now the next learning objective is given a patient on intermittent hemodialysis, recommend appropriate vancomycin dosing and monitoring. Intermittent hemodialysis typically removes about 30 to 40 percent of vancomycin in a full hemodialysis session which usually takes about four hours. Sometimes because of hemodynamic instability, hemodialysis sessions could be uh, terminated early. So if a hemodialysis session uh, lasts uh, shorter, so let's say one hour, then uh, less amount of vancomycin will be removed. Now a lot of published protocols actually suggest to get the vancomycin level before dialysis and then assuming that the patient gets the full dialysis session, then you can actually uh, calculate and uh, say that 30 to 40 percent of it was removed and calculate what would be the trough after dialysis session. However, in clinical practice, uh, most clinicians actually get the vancomycin level after dialysis. Now the issue is uh, when should you get the vancomycin level after dialysis? Should it be immediately after hemodialysis or should you wait for a while? And this goes back to the two compartment uh, pharmacokinetic model of vancomycin. Because of t tissue redistribution phase, uh, it results in a 20 to 40 percent increase in plasma concentration. When vancomycin is administered, a good portion of it goes into the peripheral tissue and the level that we get is actually from the central uh, compartment which is uh, circulation. And when hemodialysis is complete, hemodialysis is basically removing vancomycin from the central compartment. So after, so immediately after uh, completion of hemodialysis, if you get the level, it will show the level in the central, uh, in the central compartment, which is the blood, which might be low. However, if you give it some time, so about two to three hours, vancomycin starts to come out of peripheral tissue to find equilibrium between uh, between blood and peripheral tissue. So therefore. If you get a level immediately after dialysis, the level could be artificially low and then um, you know three, uh, three hours later the level goes back up. So it would not be a good idea to check the level immediately after dialysis. So it's recommended to wait approximately four to six hours after hemodialysis to wait for tissue redistribution to be complete and then get a, a vancomycin level which would be a better indication of what the actual true level is in the patient. Now one thing to keep in mind is that vancomycin loading doses are independent of renal function so even in patients with end-stage renal disease you should not be afraid to give loading doses. So you can give large doses of uh, vancomycin for loading dose when uh, initially starting the dose uh, and then um, based on the level you can determine how much vancomycin to give the patient.